Hi guys and welcome to today's video. It is going to be a budget friendly taco stew. It is so good. I've made it several times and it always turns out really good. You just throw it in a crock pot and then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day and that makes me happy. If you are vegan or vegetarian, you can just take out the meat and swap the chicken broth for veggie broth and then there you go. So it's really easy, it is so delicious and I'm very excited for you guys to try it. Um, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every Sunday and Wednesday now, so that's exciting. Um, and if you do like the food videos, give it a like so it lets me know. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is one carton of chicken broth, or if you are vegan or vegetarian, you can also use veggie broth. What you see now in the video is just me using uh, bouillon that I get from Costco. It's organic and it tastes delicious, so I just use that. And then you're going to chop up an onion. I use a whole onion just because I love onions, so the more the merrier. I also chopped up two whole carrots, and I just made sure that they were sliced evenly so that they cook thoroughly. And then I just plop those in. To add some protein, I grabbed some red lentils, which are really good, so I just add half a cup of that. I don't wash them first, and they seem to be okay. And then I did wash the black beans, and I just added an entire can of that. Uh, next, I just had some meat cooked up, so I put that in, and then I also did some taco seasoning, uh, spicy because I love spicy stuff. And then I also get stewed tomatoes, so I get a couple cans, two specifically, that have like herbs and spices and stuff like that. So those are the cans that I used, and this one was garlic and olive oil, for example, and it adds a lot of flavor. And then lastly, I get a, a big can of the diced tomatoes with no salt added, just because I don't want too much sodium in the recipe. Then I just begin to mix it all up and make sure everything's kind of together. I did decide to add one cup of the rice, so it's just basmati gluten-free, which is really nice, and it kind of soaks up some of the moisture and the extra liquid. And then I top it off with nutritional yeast, which is so good. And then, of course, I add sriracha because I love hot stuff. And then you can just top it off with whatever spices and herbs that you want. So I always use pepper and parsley, things like that. But you can just be open and flexible with whatever. Then you can put it on high for four hours or on low for eight hours. And then just let everything soak up. And then when it's finished, it's really nice and tender. And you just want to make sure that the carrots are cooked thoroughly so they're not too hard. And dinner is served. 